Mailbag time. Got some interesting things here. Here's another box here from Fluke. What's in here? We'll find out later. Stick around. Don't forget to click like and subscribe if it's your first time here. Hmm. What the hell's this? Torches. I didn't buy torches. Okay, what's in here? Torches. Uh, what? What the hell? I didn't buy these. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. And it's in the packet here, which is from the same person. What the hell is this? This is weird, because I didn't buy these. Did I buy something else and they sent me the wrong thing? Hmm. That is really weird. I did not buy them. Okay, I was I just went and checked my purchase history on AliExpress. And the only packages I've got from the Netherlands, which showed as being delivered, was some batteries. So I opened this up. This doesn't feel like it weigh anything. Open one up. There's a battery. They hid the batteries inside torches. Ooh, that's dodgy, isn't it? Um, but is it? Yeah, I mean, it's a real torch, I suppose. But wow, that was not what I was expecting. I was expecting to place bad feedback, saying, "Hey, I've got a bunch of torches instead." No, no. Here's the batteries. Ooh, that's dodgy. Oh well, I suppose they knew they couldn't put them through the shipping otherwise. I just realised sticking inside a torch hides it. But hey, at least the battery turned up. Yay! So what worries me is that if these got intercepted on the way here, which is entirely possible, would they have blamed me or would they have blamed the person that sent it? I mean, that's the question. You know, would I have got in trouble for this? This wasn't what I purchased. I just purchased batteries. I didn't purchase batteries in hidden inside torches. Hmm. That's worrying, isn't it? Well, as you could argue that because these are inside a nice metal barrel, which is well protected, it means that batteries shouldn't get punctured, which means it makes them a lot safer to ship. I suppose you could say they're for packaging in order to uh, prevent the batteries being damaged during transit. Maybe that's the thinking behind it. I don't know. But you could be interpreted different ways, couldn't it? Okay, here's the final result. We have five of these batteries, which are half AA, lithium final, chloride, or lithium final chloride, um, 3.6 volt, and these are 1,100 milliamp hours, apparently. And then we've got these AA type, which is also ER6, Maxell, lithium final chloride, as you can see, also 3.6 volt, but these are supposed to be 2,000 milliamp hours. And we've got three of them. Excellent. So I've now got a bunch of backup batteries. Yay. And some free torches. Yay. This took a while to arrive. I actually forgot I even ordered them. These are nozzle cleaners. Different sizes. 0.4mm and there's a few other ones in here. 035 and 0.25 and probably 0.3 as well, I imagine, um, for cleaning out your nozzle on a 3D printer. So if you get a clog on your nozzle, if you just want to clean it because it's a bit you know, dirty or something, you can use these to clean through the nozzle. These are all just different size shafts and just fit the nozzle sizes. You do get one with your 3D printer when you buy one, or usually. I wanted to have a selection because I've done nozzle changes, so I've actually got like the original 0.4mm one, which came on my printer, but I've got a 0.3mm nozzle on my printer, or I think it might be a point two or one of them even. So yeah, now I've got cleaning things for them. Excellent. Now we've got a flute package yet. Let's see what stories are that. Hmm, that's not great packaging. Hopefully not damaged. Yeah, it's slightly damaged. Yeah, it's just slight, just slightly bent. Not a big deal. So, 16 pins of socket. 
two of them. I need these for my little uh, dram tester project. Dram, the ram tester. Oh, yeah, well, anyway, so yeah, just slightly bent pins. It's not a big deal. I'll straighten them up, and that means I can finish that project finally. I've been mean, meaning to uh, get these on the board, but I didn't have them. And now we have the flute box. What's going to be in here? I'm going to have to use real knife for this because it's got tape reinforcing in it. It's a Fluke 175 Trimus Multimeter. Yay! So this has been given to me at no charge by Fluke, so this is a review item which I'll be doing a review on. I'm going to be doing this like I've done with all the other multimeters I've been doing testing on. Putting it through its paces, maybe doing a teardown, or likely we'll be doing a teardown, and you know, chucking the calibrators and that sort of stuff, and seeing how well it compares to everything else and just checking its accuracy and all its functions and what have you. So this is going to be a review I'll be doing very, oh you've probably already seen it actually because this mailbag's so far ahead. You may have already seen it. I may have already done a review on this. In this case I'm going to go back in time I'm going to publish the review before you see the mailbag video. Okay. Anyway, so there's a playlist for the all the multimeter reviews I'm doing. All right, so I put a playlist together I'll probably link it up here or in the description or it'll at the very least be on my main page. If you go to the main page of my channel, there's playlists listed in there. And every one of those playlists will be for the multimeter reviews. And all these multimeters I'm reviewing will be in there. Okay? So not just this one, but all the other ones I've already done and any future ones I do, if you're watching this in the future, because I've obviously gone to the past to do a review, you'll find them in there. So I believe I've got another fluke coming as well. You'll find out with that is soon enough. But anyway, this is a 175. So this is a bit of an upgrade from the last one. Let's have a quick look inside the box. A sneak peek, if you will. Oh, is it upside down? Oh, oh I'm making a mess of it. Okay. Here she is. It's even got batteries in it. <laughs> so, AC, DC, DC millivolts, excellent. Um, resistance, capacitance, diode test and sounder, or vicinity, milliamps and amps. And also does hertz as well. Nice. Tilting bail, lovely. Probes. Paperwork. Watch out for the review. Check out when this is made. February 22. This is February 22. It's brand spanking new. Out of weeks. Nice. There'll be playlists down here, over here. There's a subscribe link over here. A Patreon support link over here if you want to help support the channel. I'll catch you next time. Bye.